It's 654. Here's a look at the stories we're following as you head out the door. This morning, Decatur police are still searching for a suspect in connection to a shooting at Point Mallard Water Park. Caleb Long, also known as Caleb Langford, has two warrants for second degree assault. Police say those involved in the shooting over the weekend were all acquaintances. Two people were sent to the hospital as a result. They're expected to be okay. The Marshall County Sheriff's Office is investigating after a man's body is pulled from Lake Gunnersville. The man in his mid to late 40s was pulled from the lake around 10 o'clock Sunday morning. His body was sent for an autopsy and those results could be back as early as Tuesday. The identity of the man has not yet been released. Greg? Yeah. A family is grieving after a woman rescued from a fire in Hartzell died from her injuries. Firefighters got Stacy Collette out of her burning mobile home Thursday. From there, she went to a hospital in Birmingham. Right now, we're still waiting to hear what might have caused the fire. Hundreds of people came together to remember the 12 victims of a mass shooting in Virginia. This comes after authorities revealed the timeline of the shooting in Virginia Beach. The accused gunman died from injuries after exchanging shots with police. President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump arrived in London this morning. They got to Buckingham Palace just minutes ago. The trip is for an official state visit. Tonight, a town hall meeting will be held for the people living along Balt Road, and council members will be discussing new apartment developments coming to the area. This comes after the Mazda Toyota announcement back in January, and the mayor said there's a possibility of a population increase, and developers saw that as an opportunity to build new homes. That meeting begins tonight at 6. Alyssa. Huntsville's spelling bee co-champion Erin Howard and her seven co-champions will be on national TV this morning. They'll be on live with Kelly and Ryan. You can catch that right here on Way 31 starting at 9 o'clock this morning.